Shalom, shalom. First off, I'd like to say, Kahala, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rokakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing his word and all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sincere sisters who watch and believe, Shalom to you as well. Shalom to the new fruit, the new believers, the new viewership coming into this faith. Uh, just back in the spirit with another lesson. There's a lot of judgment that's played out over the course of 2022. Uh, we're headed into so-called 2023, uh, less than a couple of weeks away, pretty much. And the spirit of judgment is just raining out in all different types of ways. You know, the, the wicked is being addressed from the people who are, you know, catching their deaths from taking, you know, the the, the jab or whatever from those uh, entertainers and, and athletes, and mostly a lot of these rappers, they've they been getting put to death. But there's just been a lot of uh, judgment going out throughout the earth, man. And that pretty much goes to show that the Most High, uh, he has things laid in store for all manner of wickedness. Now, we know that Esau, Edom, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They are the wicked who are in rulership of the planet at this appointed time, but the scripture says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces. So even two thirds of our own people, you Israelites, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans have become wicked. Your deeds are overpassing the deeds of the wicked and just any other of the heathen nations, of course, just all manner of wicked behavior. The most high has things laid in store for all level of wickedness, man. So it's beautiful when you see judgment play out, you know, like Job said, uh, whoever perish being innocent. So whenever judgment commenced, we don't feel any type of way. Now, it does make us examine our own spirit because the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living power. I believe in Hebrews, the 10th chapter. So we have to make sure we're taking heed and considering our own ways when we do see the most high judgment go out. But we rejoice at the same time because. You know, the most high's will is being done in the earth. The most high, he creates all things. He, you know, he kills and he makes alive, like the scripture says. But before I, I ramble on, I just want to hit the precepts. I'm going to start off here in Amos 3 and 6. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? And even here today, you know, I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth metro area. There was tornado type of weather passing through here, man. And I think a tornado actually may have hit out in Fort Worth and Grand, or not Grand Prairie, but Grapevine. But if somebody's property or house got jacked up, if somebody got jacked up in that, that's the will of the Lord. Even though to the surface, it may seem like, damn, you know, you feel compassion, you know, for the people who may have suffered loss to any so-called natural disaster or calamity. It's all the hand of the Heavenly Father that's initiating different levels of judgment that play out in the earth. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And there were sirens going on all around, you know, my area today, you know, just as those tornadoes was rolling through this area. So people, you know, they was telling people to take cover. You might have to go to a basement, a bathroom, get away from windows. But how much more so when the level of judgment that the most high has prepared for this place starts to elevate People are going to be afraid. You're not going to see these women, these wicked women with those proud uh, looks and that smart mouth and that attitude. Everybody that's proudful, they're going to, they're going to have a, a humility check in that day. It says, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it. And evil means bad times. Any evil, any uh, so-called uh, terror that goes out in the earth, the most high wants to take full responsibility for that. He's the king. He's the truth king of terrors, man. You know, we got to always reference that we're dealing with a power who flooded the inhabited earth at the time of Noah and only saved Noah and his household, a total of eight people. So the most high is the supreme. He's the, 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 the father of spirits, like the scripture says, man. So it's going to be more judgments coming into the time that we in, man, because wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the earth and the hurtful works of Babylon the Great, which we know is prophetically America. You know, 
the Most High is about to bring judgment for all the wickedness that's going on in this place, man. And when judgment plays out in the earth, we don't feel no type of way. Like I said, we take heed, but man, this place is in dire need of judgment for correction. Scourges for amendment, like the scripture says when you read in 2nd Ezra, I believe the 16th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. But I want to read this. Um, this is a uh, Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, the Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Most High creates good and bad, hot and cold, so to speak. Good and bad, wicked and evil. And it just so happens that the Most High made a group of people the wicked. Of course, like I said, Job 9 and 24, Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed nation of white people. That's the wicked and mainly the ruling elite of the Edomite nations. And then chiefly on top of that, the nation of Amalek, the head tribe of the nation of, of Esau, Edom. That's the wicked, but... You know, you got people that commit wicked deeds. They commit sin. They transgress the law, which the law was only given to Israel. So we have to put two thirds of our own wicked people in that category of being the wicked at this appointed time, man. And that even goes to uh, guys within the circumcision that know that they're Israelites, man. It says, Proverbs 16 and 4, the Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. And right now we're coming into the day of evil, bad times. And I think the, the, the elder Mike Yala of this camp, I haven't had the chance to check out his whole video, but he had made like a title, you know, it's not, we're not going to be lo no longer just saying bad times is coming. You know, we're coming into a bad, uh, into evil days. That's what evil means, bad times. And the most high hath the the wicked reserve for the day of evil. So the most high is controlling both sides of this thing, man. All the wickedness that's going on in the earth, you know, wicked people, you know, people who commit um, pedophilia, rapists, you know, murderers, thieves, liars, whatever the case is, extortioners, uh, pimps, you know, all levels of wicked behavior, the most high is reserving that for judgment. And ultimately he created those spirits to be on those people who uh, go in that way of behavior, you know? I'll go ahead and get, uh, I'm going to get the Apocrypha real quick. This is a Sirach 40 and uh, 9. It says, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities. Famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. So all of these things, I can name it off in verse 9. Death. So more death is going to come to the earth by however means it come. By the pestilence, the different di disease. You know, people just getting jacked up in a car accident, getting shot, stabbed to death. You know, However, may it, it, uh, however method that the Most High have is set for you to, to be put to death. It says in bloodshed, strife, sword, calamities, you know, all of these so-called natural disasters, tsunamis, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, famine. And that's probably one of the worst ways to die by the famine because that's a slow burn. That's a slow process of death. Tribulation and the scourge. It says these things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood. So just like it says, when you read, I believe in Genesis around the sixth chapter, I believe, you know, it talks about at the time that that wickedness was just exceedingly great. So the most high brought judgment. And we're in that same time, man. Like wickedness, I'll quote second Ezra 15 and six again. Wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. The most high is about to play on this place, man. So all the things that I read and. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 40 and 9, those are the different levels that the Most High is bringing judgment to this place. But verse 10 is cold. It says, these things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood. And the Lord, he made a vow that he would no longer uh, destroy the, the earth by water, you know, but the second death is going to be by fuel of fire. Like it says, I believe in uh, Isaiah, the, the ninth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. 
And it's all because wickedness is, is just surpassing pinnacle levels at this point, man. We know, of course, that we have a wicked nation of people. So that's, that's the very key reason that judgment is going to have to line up leading to the epic destruction of Babylon the Great, which we know prophetically is America. But the way that the Most High is going to do it, he going to humble he going to humble the proud, man. You know, cuz you got a lot of proud people, you know, many great miseries shall be done to them that I walked in great pride. I'm loosely paraphrasing uh second Ezra the 8th chapter. But it's a lot of death angels so to speak going out and the most high he's commanding those death angels, man. So when you see just harsh judgments play out, you got to consider that that's the most high, man. And we have to reflect and take heed and examine our own mode of behavior, especially if you're an Israelite, man, because we know that the promise for us, if we endure until the end, we're going to be saved. If we work out our salvation with fear and trembling, we're going to be saved. And it's going to take salvation, a, a savior to deliver us out of this impending epic destruction, man, via the thermonuclear missiles. But this is a Sirach or Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. It says there be spirits that are created for vengeance. So that's clear to the point. The Most High creates spirits specifically to lay out his vengeance. It says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of their destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So in the time that these spirits that are created for vengeance go out and pour out their force, they basically please the wrath of those of the, 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 the creator that made them in the first place. The heavenly father, Yahweh, and we know that his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew tongue. It says, verse 29, fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. And I read in Sirach 40 all the different levels that the Most High can bring judgment and vengeance. So I think it used to be a show called like a, a thousand ways to die or it may have been a million ways to die. So the Most High, he's crafty in his judgment, too. He's very clever. He's very uh, slick and, and very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Innovative and creative in his judgment. So there's a lot of different ways that the Most High can take you out of there. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So with all being said, man, for brothers that's in the, in the know, that's in this thing of ours, uh, we got to hold fast to the faithful word until Yahweh Shah comes to deliver us. But it's beautiful that these spirits are going out to judge this place and really just bring all that pride to a, a low level, you know? But... Lord willing, this uh, edified, I'll just leave it out with that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.